Somewhere in Japan, a skilled chef is preparing a fish that if prepared wrong could potentially end the life of its consumer. Let's talk about it. There are a variety of ways to meet an early end. While many horrible things come to mind, I'd argue one of the worst ones is ingesting the deadly tetrodotoxins of a fugu fish. The term fugu refers to a variety of different puffer fish and porcupine fish, but the most common fugu are those in the aptly named Takifugu genus, which consists of 25 species, most of which are poisonous. Now there are many things on this planet that are poisonous, heck, even some things you use on a daily basis are poisonous to some degree, but what makes fugu stand out is just how awful ingesting its poison is. The tetrodotoxin of a fugu is a neurotoxin which it obtains from bacteria that infect or cohabitate with it. The tetrodotoxin stops signals from your nerves from being sent to your muscles. Essentially, it paralyzes you. While you are fully aware of it, you are unable to talk, scream, or do much of anything as your airways start to close and you eventually succumb to asphyxiation. Nope. There is no known cure for this. Once you ingest enough of it and the process starts, you are likely to go from alive to very much so not alive. The only treatment is to have your stomach pumped and filled with activated charcoal while you are hooked up to a life support system. This has worked and not everybody that has eaten it in recent times has died from it, but the process is grueling and depending on how much you ingested, you may not even get to this stage before meeting your end. The fugu tetrodotoxin is 1200 times deadlier than cyanide, and just a single fish has enough to kill 30 people. Despite this risk, people still seek this delicacy out. As recently as 2020, three people died in the Philippines from eating it. So the question is, why? Despite knowing the risk, why do people go out of their way to eat this fish? There are a number of reasons, but the biggest one is probably cultural. In Japan, fugu has been eaten for centuries. Fugu bones have been found in waste piles as old as 2300 years ago. Even then, however, the Japanese were well aware of the risk, even banning the consumption of the fish around Edo, today called Tokyo, during the Tokugawa shogunate. The shogunate couldn't reach everywhere, however, and in the western portions of Japan, chefs developed ways to safely prepare and consume fugu, which was common to catch off their shores. Today, the consumption of fugu is regulated in Japan. Whole fugu fish are banned from being sold in markets. However, pre-prepared cuts are legal to be sold as of 2012. Since 1957, all fugu sold must have been prepared by somebody who is licensed to do so. The process involves a two to three year apprenticeship and a variety of tests, including preparing and eating the fish yourself. Only 35% of applicants succeed. This gives consumers of fugu some peace of mind, and it actually works. Every year, the Japanese public consumes an estimated 10,000 pounds of fugu, with only 23 people dying in Japan since the year 2000 from consuming it. This means that every year, an average of one person dies from eating fugu in Japan, out of the thousands of pounds of it that are consumed. As mentioned earlier, fugu fish obtain their toxicity from bacteria they encounter in the wild. Researchers have tried to lower their toxicity by isolating them from these bacteria. They found that this process does, in fact, work in varying degrees. Farm fugu have been popping up more and more in markets because of this. What do you think about the fugu? Do you dare to try it? Have you already had it? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, thanks everybody for watching.